Still so gutted. What a heartbreaking night that was. But I'm also slightly put out that we haven't woken up to the news that Gareth Southgate is no longer the England manager. He either needed to have been sacked by now or have walked. You know, he tells us that he is a patriot who loves his country and wants what's best for his country. And if that is true, if he genuinely adopts that philosophy, then he needs to walk. Because he must know that he isn't the right man for this job. History has taught us that he is clearly not cut out to be an England manager. He is not an elite manager. This squad are sensational. This squad are world beaters. We are so blessed with one of the most talented array of talent that the world has ever seen in one place. And yet we have Gareth Southgate in charge, a man who was relegated with Middlesbrough. Weirdly, by the way, a man who was relegated with England. People aren't talking about that. You know, people always talk about Croatia. People always talk about what happened against them. People always talk about what happened against Italy. But there is also the matter of what happened against the Netherlands and what happened in our most recent Nations League campaign where we were relegated. You know, that is completely and utterly unacceptable. But people point to the record, the record of Gareth Southgate in World Cups. Look what he's done for England in World Cups. The best manager since Alf Rams. Oh. In World Cups, Gareth Southgate has managed to overcome the might and power and prestige of Tunisia, Panama, Sweden, Iran, Wales and Senegal. Every single time England come up against a team capable of challenging them, we get beat. We lost to a France team, a very gifted France team, don't get me wrong. I think they are a sensational, beautiful team. But England are better. England's squad is better than France's squad. So ultimately, England didn't win the game. And why is that? It's mentality and tactical. Didier Deschamps got one over on Gareth Southgate. Just as Roberto Mancini got one over on Gareth Southgate. It is so easy to beat England because ultimately you can beat them in the dugout. Because Gareth Southgate doesn't have the managerial acumen or the tactical nous to steer England to the success that this squad deserves. Think of the vast array of talent that this squad has at its disposal. You have players, the quality of Trent Alexander-Arnold sitting on a bench. Jack Grealish sitting on a bench. Marcus Rashford sitting on a bench. And yet in certain games, we lack creativity. If I were to ask you to put a list together, compile a list of the 10 most creative footballers at this World Cup, 10 players. You go De Bruyne, you go whoever, right? Trent Alexander-Arnold would be on that list. And yet when England were in such dire need of creativity, when we were lacking so much creativity against the United States... Didn't get a look in. Makes absolutely no sense. And yet again, last night, Gareth Southgate got it wrong. Yet again, Gareth Southgate was responsible for the defeat. Yet again, Gareth Southgate was beaten in a tournament by the first side that he came up against who were genuinely capable of beating his team. Never once has he overcome the odds. Never once has he beaten a team that we can look at and say, do you know what? They, they're half decent. I don't care that he can beat Wales and Iran. I don't care. I care that he can't beat the teams that are genuinely standing in our way of winning silverware. People keep flagging Germany to me in the Euros. This is a Germany team who haven't got out of the groups in two consecutive World Cups. That Euros tournament took place in between those two World Cups. England played at home against the Germany team, not capable of getting through a group in a World Cup. The, the main goal threat for this Germany team is Kai Havertz, a player who doesn't get anywhere near the England squad. And we beat them. Of course we beat them. So we should. Of course we beat Germany in the Euros. Of course we did. We were at home and we're so much better than them. Of course we beat them. It's complete nonsense to, to try and steer and create this facade of success around Gareth Southgate. And I don't understand why people are doing it. I think maybe in the media people like him. There is a friendship there. I think there is a lot of access. I think Gareth Southgate is open to forms of media. And people don't like the idea of somebody else coming in. For example, even Steve Holland, I think would be more, more strict about access. I don't know how many times we would be seeing ping pong tournaments versus journalists. 
with a different manager in charge. And maybe people are preserving their clean and direct ties to this squad. But he's clearly an inept manager. He's clearly not good enough to manage this dazzling team. Trying to spin what happened last night against France as this sort of valiant loss as a positive is actually the mentality of a loser. And Gareth Southgate is a loser. I don't mean that in an emotional way. I don't mean that as an insult in the way that the word loser is bandied around either on social media or in the playground. I mean it for the genuine terminology that it represents. What does the word loser mean? If you consult your OED, look up the word loser, it says Gareth Southgate, because he's a man who perennially loses. He's a man who perennially loses. He's a good guy. I don't dislike him. I don't particularly care either way, but I don't want him anywhere near an elite team as a manager. Doesn't get a job in the Premier League, does he? There literally isn't a job in the Premier League that he gets. Nobody would take Gareth Southgate. And yet we're putting him in charge of the most gifted crop of players that we have ever had. It is actually criminal to waste this crop of players on such an inadequate manager. And we know he's inadequate because he's proven it to us. Tournament after tournament after tournament. But we gave France a good game. Of course we gave France a good game. We're better than France. We're better than them. And we're, we're happy that we gave them a good game. We made it tough for France. Of course we did. We are better. We are the better football team. Oh, damn. It's so, it's so frustrating. It's so frustrating. But ultimately, despite being better, we didn't make the most of it. We didn't make the most of our own superiority. You know, the subs were so poor. So poor. Marcus Rashford, our top goal scorer at the tournament. A couple of minutes. It's a, it's a waste. Grealish, disrespectfully given seconds. Jordan Henderson looked knackered far earlier. Bukayo Saka, probably England's best player. Certainly England's biggest threat. Theo Hernandez couldn't live with him. Sub him off for Raheem Sterling. Come on. Come on. Such vulnerabilities in that French team, by the way. Hernandez, dreadful. Truly dreadful. Upo Mokano, appalling. Truly appalling. We couldn't exploit the vulnerabilities in that French back line. Why not? Because we didn't have the manager to exploit it. We obviously have the players. Do you think Pep Guardiola would have found a way around that French team last night? Do you think Jose Mourinho would have found a way around? Do you think Thomas Tuchel would have found a way around? Gareth Southgate can't. And he can't do it against France, and he can't do it against the Dutch, and he can't do it against Croatia, and he can't do it against Italy. The common theme here is Gareth Southgate. Gareth Southgate cannot do it. He's not born to do it. Like Craig David was not singing about him in that song, being the England manager. You know, he, his record is so poor. So poor, and people try and spin it in a way that is so positive. He has won three out of his last 11 competitive games. Relegated in the Nations League. And then the in-game management. Raheem Sterling on Fusaka is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. You know, giving five minutes to England's top goal scorer in the tournament is ridiculous. And, you know, the, the theory that England cannot hold our own against top teams is true. We've been saying it for years now. Under Gareth Southgate, we cannot hold our own. And it is still totally and utterly true. So look, we can bid farewell to Gareth Southgate in any way that is necessary. If he wants to walk away and you know go out to a fanfare for some weird reason, then cool, let him do that. Let him have his moment in the sun and we all say, thanks Gareth, thanks Gareth, you've steered the ship brilliantly and you go. And if you don't go, you get a, you get a tic-tac. Because one way or another, England cannot embark on another tournament, we cannot go into Germany with this perennial loser in charge. It makes a mockery of everything that has been achieved in assembling this ridiculous, ridiculously talented squad. So look, cheers, Gareth. You know, you managed to overcome the might of Tunisia, Panama, Sweden, Iran, Wales and Senegal. Bravo. But don't let the door hit you on the way out.
I'm out of school and heartbroken.